My name is Yata Kande. I am a second year student here at SIPA. Um, I'm studying economic and political development with a focus on gender and a regional focus on Africa. Um, and since I've been here, I've participated in kind of a variety of courses within the EPD workshop um, and within the EPD concentration. And I'm currently working on the final project, which is kind of culmination of EPD studies here, which is an EPD workshop where we work with a real world client and kind of serve as consultants to them regarding a particular issue. The one thing that really attracted me in terms of SIPA's curriculum was its focus on its international focus. Um, so as compared to other schools that had a more domestic policy orientation, I really like the international orientation and also the proximity to the United Nations. I'm actually working as a program assistant for the United Nations Studies program on campus. Um, and I think what attracted me to that was my former experience working at the UN and really wanting to understand um, the work that the UN is doing and the implications that it has for a lot of the current global challenges that we're facing. And so as a student of international affairs, I thought it was important to really invest in that while I came to um, SIPA. So that was my initial interest. And then secondly, being here and work and being under the auspices of the UN Studies Program, I worked as the co-chair of the UN Studies Program Working Group originally, so all of last year, and now um, with the program have been doing various research projects that have allowed me to kind of gain real world experience and practical experience um, that I would like to use and apply when I am working as a development practitioner. I think what's really important because SIPA is two years and it's such a concentrated amount of time, you really want to get as much out of the experience as you possibly can. So coming with a little bit of professional experience is always extremely helpful. And then also knowing where you want to concentrate and what areas you want to focus on. So doing your research so that you know which geographical area is of particular interest and perhaps which thematic area is of particular interest. So that you really seize all of the opportunities, be they within the classroom or outside of the classroom, to enrich your experience while you're here.